This young man is Nicu Vlad of Romania, and he has provided the most excitement we have seen thus far in weightlifting competition here in Los Angeles. He has already broken the old Olympic record set by David Riegert. He has lifted a total of 854 and a quarter pounds in a two-lift combination, the snatch and the clean and jerk. He broke not only the Olympic record in total, but his national record, his national records in both the snatch and the clean and jerk. Standing on the sideline, the Romanian coach, Niku Vlad is only 20 years old. He is still considered a junior in weightlifting competition. Certainly he's not lifting junior weights though. Right now, he is going for 220 kilograms, 485 pounds. Strong pull. He comes up out of the bottom position, no problem. He has to throw the weight up, adjust, get set. He needs to just suddenly dip the legs. Big drive, tremendous attempt. Will he hold it? Yes, he's got it. No. He's, he's got to wait for the referee signal. I he's got it. A tremendous yes. lift. 485 pounds, new Olympic record, Lynn. 865 pound total. 865 and a quarter pounds. Niku Vlad, Romanian, only 20 years old has re-established the Olympic record here at Loyola Marymount University for the middle heavyweight competition. Thunderous standing ovation here at the Albert Gerson Pavilion. The fans here have been supportive, waiting for something exciting to happen, and young Niku Vlad has provided that entertainment this evening. Hugs backstage. Let's take another look, Bruce, at his Olympic setting lift in slow motion. Good position over the bar, shoulders over the bar. He pulls long, pulls hard, stands on his toes. Look how well he moves under the bar. Elbows are up. He's got it well racked in against the chest. Stands up. He's under control. Comes right through his sticking point. Throws the weight up, catches a big breath of air. Gets ready to jerk it. All he has to do now is give a slight dip of the knees. Wedge himself under the weight. One leg forward, one leg, one leg back, ramming himself under it. Incredible this, amount of strength this young man has illustrated here. 485 pounds. An incredible story. Looks like he's going, not he going to make the lift. He wobbles a bit. He has to get both feet firmly on the platform, and he parallel. Even, the incredible thing is he couldn't see the referee's down signal. His coach waved him to put the weight down when they saw the light go on. This is an incredible story, Len. I've never seen it before. You have to admire the courage, the determination of this young man. He had already achieved the gold medal in his first attempt in the clean and jerk when that was successful. He went for the Olympic record. He took over the Olympic record on his second lift. On his third lift, he wanted to increase the distance between he and David Riegert, the old record holder. He does it with great style, great courage, and determination. Niku Vlad, 20-year-old Romanian Army officer. While he takes the gold, it is Peter Dimitri of Romania who takes the silver, and David Mercer of Great Britain who wins the bronze. Thank you very much, Len. Len Swan, the only wide receiver I've ever heard do weightlifting commentary, and he does it so well. The only American in last night's middle heavyweight division didn't have such good fortune last night, and I mean that is an understatement. Let's watch Derek Crass of Colorado Springs, Colorado, leading off the snatch competition with a first attempt effort of 286 and a half pounds. Dairy Crass. Notice how they really get into it and then really attack it. He was the only American entered in the 13-man field and not expected to win a medal. Now watch what happens. At first it was thought that Crass was severely injured. What actually happened was this. The elbow literally popped out and dislocated as the weight was being lifted overhead. The bar then fell on his head and then on his leg. To remember, 286 and a half pounds. Now watch the dislocation. If you don't want to, don't bother, because it's a little sickening. Well, there's a good ending to it. Fortunately, the dislocated elbow was reduced by doctors back to normal right there on the platform. He was x-rayed and released last night from the hospital 
And it's reported that dairy crafts is in good condition. They are superbly conditioned athletes, and that's the only way they can survive.